Creating VFX in Premiere is awesome. I mean, how much fun that we have on this channel already. But sound is just as important as visuals. Neglecting your audio can ruin the potential of a great video. Let's make sure that doesn't happen by creating two awesome audio effects. We're gonna start by turning a scream into a zombie sound effect, just like in the old cuts. Man, I played so much World at War, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2. I wish I could go back. So right here you can see or hear a screaming man sound effect, which I got from audio. You can also record it yourself if you want. <laughs> to turn it into a zombie, hold down ALT and duplicate the clip. Then bring down the volume of the second one. Duplicate it another time and make sure they're snapped together. Next, select the three clips and right click them. Then choose Nest. This is actually a small hack that you can use when you want the reverb to play longer than the length of your clip. You'll understand why in a second. Next, you want to duplicate the clip one track down or up. That doesn't matter. Then in the effects library, find the pitch shifter effect and drag it on your duplicate. Make sure it's selected and head over to the effect controls. In here, click on edit to open up pitch shifter. We're gonna bring down the pitch by five semitones. That's gonna give it that low demon-like voice. Very nice. Now duplicate the clip again and go back to the effect controls. Set it here, open up the pitch shifter again and this time turn it up by five semitones. This is gonna give it that high-pitched scary sound. That's already starting to sound like a zombie. And now it's time to give it some reverb. All right, so to do that, find the convolution reverb effect in the effects library and drag it on the top clip. Next, go to the effect controls and find the edit button to open up the reverb. From the impulse menu, choose hall. Now it's important to play around with the mix. For me, 60 works perfectly. Now in the effect controls, select the reverb effect and copy it. Then go to the timeline and select both the middle and bottom clip. Then hit control plus to paste the reverb. There you go, that sounds really cool. Now, if you want a better reverb than Premiere's, you can download the free plugin Valhalla Supermassive. Once it's installed, you can just drag it on your clip like any other effect. You'll find tons of amazing presets that are way better than Premiere, so go give it a try. Now, I already told you guys that I got my sound effects from audio. It's a music and sound effects library that will level up every creator and video editor. All the music you find on here is created by music producers who specifically make music for content creators. That means no typical boring stock music. What I love most is that audio remembers what kind of music I like for my videos, which means I can create playlists with music I actually want to use. Their AI tool will recognize my taste and it will find similar songs. No need to browse for hours anymore. Thank you audio so much for sponsoring this video. Also, if you find a song you like, just click the lightning bolt and audio will find you a huge list of similar songs. They even have an AI tool called Link Match, where you can paste a link to YouTube or Spotify and Link Match will then give you similar songs you can use copyright free without any issues. On top of that, you'll get thousands of high quality cinematic sound effects. I honestly can't imagine going back to bad stock music. Definitely use the code Premiere Basics for 70% off the audio pro plan. Check out the link down below. It's time for the second effect, which is a creepy suspense effect in your voice. This is a random sound effect I found on audio of a person speaking. <laughs> I have no clue what he's saying, so if someone can translate it, down below. Now, to make this sound creepy, duplicate the clip again. Now go to the first clip and turn down the volume of this one. We're gonna reverse it and that's why this part needs to be quiet. Now, select both the clips and nest them together. Next, duplicate the audio one track down and then right-click one of them, doesn't matter which one, choose speed and duration. In this window, check the reverse button, then click on OK. Now, back in the timeline, trim the clip that isn't reversed and snap it against the beginning of the other clip. That way, they will overlap. As you can see, we also have more than enough space now on the reverse clip to let the reverb do its thing. Now find a reverb effect in the effects library and drag it on the reverse clip. Then in the effect controls open up the reverb. Again this time choose the whole reverb preset and play around with the mix. There you go, that sounds amazing. <laughs> now it's time to create some awesome underwater effects in Premiere Pro. So click right here to continue the lesson. Thank you guys so much for watching this video.